Hi guys, Anna here in the heart of Newington Green today on Lidfield Road, bringing you another location location by renovation project. Now the house behind me was purchased by a couple in 2017 and since then they have completely refurbished it top to bottom to bring a really, really modern and stylish house to the market. Now I can only describe it as a monochrome dream and I'm overly excited to show this one. So follow me and let's go and check it out. So upon coming into the hallway, the first thing I notice and admire is the original corner thing. So it's a Victorian house, but so many that have been modernised have had these features taken out. So I'm so, so happy that the owners have kept them, but also have mixed it with this really cool contemporary light from Buster and Punch. They've used a lot of their um, products throughout the property, which gives it a really, really cool style as well. So let's check out the reception. And before we carry on into the reception, Everyone knows I love a crystal door. This perfectly frames and cuts off the hallway to the living room and sets the tone for the monochrome style that they're going all throughout. So very Scandinavian feel in here. White walls, black crepe framework, gorgeous original features again, such as the fireplace, perfectly placed books being very decorative. Um, and of course, up against this gorgeous white wall, they have this famous photographer, Gray Marlin, photo up here of a hitchhiker outside the Prada Marfa. Clearly, they're into their fashion. Now, let's check out what's on this side, which continues as well, big open space, allowing for dining table. And as I was discussing about the Buster and Punch fixtures and fittings, including lights, even the handles. The attention to detail throughout the property is absolutely spot on, but the owners have really to put a lot of love and care throughout. So the owners have extended the kitchen so then they can come straight off from this huge opening from the reception room. So again, the brushed oak flooring continues and you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, fresh white kitchen with some really interesting modern features such as this little appliance house which is fantastic for keeping everything tidy stored away keeping your countertops minimal and simple and quite fun to do so they've got usb ports throughout as well but the size of this island is pretty astonishing. Incredible space to dine and entertain, or even just to play a little bit of beer pong could easily be done. And again, they've got black fixtures and fittings throughout, exposed steel beam also, just giving it a bit of an industrial feel. Now you can clearly tell they love their artwork because they have this Samsung thin TV, which when they're not watching their favorite programs, displays their favorite artwork really smart way to change it up if you're not if you don't want to keep the same one and then by folding doors that come straight out onto the large west facing garden which is low maintenance half paved half with fog grass as well which can be basically hoovered so if you are a family nice and easy for you but just such a nice lush garden just to be able to chill out in and again they have raised the fencing as much as possible just to make it nice and private, as private as you can get in London. So coming up to the first half landing is the main bathroom. Now they normally have a smaller bathroom and a box bedroom off the back of these properties, but they have cleverly opened it up to make a nice big family bathroom. So come on in. Oh. Now this is what you call fresh. Now, if you want a clean bathroom, this is definitely going to be it. Super, super white, really nice herringbone tiling, which I like as well, just to make it pop a little bit more. But the nice big walk-in shower has got the matte black finishes and crystal style framework to match the door downstairs. Buster and punch finishes again. And this really nice freestanding tub, which is framed by this black window here, which just makes a really nice relaxing space when you're in your tub. Nice big sink, plenty of storage. Love that mirror as well. Really, really nice with the light. And what most people would like, if you haven't got it in the kitchen, is a store, little utility space. So the top of the dry and washing machine is all tucked away, all in here. 
So coming up to the first floor, first of all, they painted the entire staircase black. Love it. And the runner as well is just really, really lovely and high, high quality. So we've got two double bedrooms up here. Let's check out this one. So clearly being used at the moment as the guest room slash study, but clearly one of them is a musician over here, but just a nice airy room overlooking the gardens as well. So perfect as the guest bedroom or the study and the walls are just screaming for anyone to be putting their artwork on there. Just nice and clean and can display anything you like very well. And this room is home to the two of the cutest occupants, the twin boys. It's probably the most colorful and it's a gramble room <laughs> out of the whole house. Really sweet, but still got all the original features such as the fireplace, lovely big sash windows as well. Again, with the black framework and the brushed oak floor, but really, really nice how they've decorated it to make it feel like a kid's room, but still within the styling and the tone of the entire property of what they've done here. So I come to the top floor, which has been extended to create the master bedroom non suite. But first and foremost, the size of this skylight just allows natural light to pour through the staircase, which accentuates the whiteness and the cleanliness of the house as it is. And then you have the master bedroom, which is super bright, super airy, really, really quiet up here as well. But then you get a bit more of a feel of their style. They've kept it very simple again, clean lines, very tonal, very toned down, but the sentimental things they put in this room, I adored, such as this artwork above the bed. We had to ask what that was, um, and they said that it was actually the sound waves from the song of their first dance, which I thought was really, really creative to have something that nice and sentimental in your master bedroom above your bed. Again, beautiful lights on the side as well, John Lewis, I found out. And the built-in wardrobes, just with lots and lots of storage. So these are completely bespoke. And again, with the buster and punch fittings. You need to check them out. These guys have incredible interiors for your home. And then you have the ensuite. So we've got a walk-in shower. Again, same crystal style, geometric tiles, and just slight differences to the downstairs bathroom, but very similar fixtures and fittings make it all feel and tied in together. But instead of herringbone style tiling, they've gone for the straight brickwork. But again, just really, really nice up here. Very quiet and incredibly light. But one thing I really loved as I'm shopping for them at the moment, is their laundry basket. It's called an Alibaba laundry basket. And for something that is such a necessity, but not normally quite pleasing to the eye, it's so cool and really, really stylish and actually makes a cool feature now in the bathroom. So that is the end of the tour of this gorgeous three bedroom monochrome dream in Newington Green. Now, if you're just obsessed about properties as I am, check out the rest of the videos on our channel. Let us know what you think about this one in the comments below and like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.